Hey everybody, and take a look at this. It's absolutely amazing. It took me all of about four and a half hours to build uh, with the Nanite Control Factory, and it looks absolutely amazing. And it's absolutely massive. Eh? I mean, I didn't realize how big it was. I've always wanted to build the station. I uh, just didn't think I'd ever get the time to build it, but now, again, with the Nanite Control Factory, my word, here we go. Um, again, it's on Workshop, on the on the Workshop uh, in uh, Space Engineers, it's uh, Skyworld, uh, one word, don't make, just make sure it's one word. Eh? Okay, um, before we start, I did go mine one load, one full load uh, with BAM of iron ore and obviously because we in sort of uh, zero zero gravity I can really load that miner full 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 and I can get the most out of it. I mean you can mine upside down I mean it's pretty much it's pretty incredible without sort of gravity interfering right oh yes and one load of uranium because that nanite factory oh my word does it like to absolutely demolish uh uranium ingots it's very very hungry uh, and needs a lot uh. okay guys so i'm gonna go do sort of <coughs> excuse me uh sort of a a tour sort of a grand tour um, I did run through the place uh, once or twice just to before I started recording uh, got lost a couple of times so it might happen again but uh, let's get started eh? so my absolute favorite part of this station is this part over here is this sort of this glass sort of walkway it's absolutely amazing I love it eh? it absolutely looks so cool. Eh? It reminds me of like Space Odyssey 2000. I think that's the film I'm thinking of. But anyway, ships can dock here. There are cameras here. There are merge blocks here. And so you dock your ship here. You come in here. I mean, I just love this glass walker. It is so, so cool. Let me, oops, let me land here. Uh, let me just, no, hang on. <laughs> Get out to the grounds of the mag boots lift. I've left all the doors open, that's why the that's why it's not airtight and stuff like that. So let me run through here and let me just show you this whole station. So you come through here, uh come up here, there's a room up here. I know I definitely know there's a medical bay over there. <coughs> As you can see, it's I think it's all airtight because obviously then the, the vents are over here. Uh there is a level that goes up here. This sort of just takes you all the way sort of to this top level over here. Oh yes, keep in mind. Um, let me just quickly, quickly show you this. Oops, let me just switch on here. And let me go out. Let me just have all that handy there. Remember, this was the, the, the platform. The ship was parked sort of over here. And this was the platform that we started on. See, there they've put the there's the the projector, and this is the platform that we started on, and then obviously built it. Just keep just keep in mind or keep the position of the the solar panels. So the solar panels are there where we built the 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 platform over there. So just to give you a, keep you a, a sort of orientated where we are in the station, because I also kind of get lost, like I said, some of the. <laughs> some of the times yeah <laughs> right so this is just the room on top here <coughs> I don't know what we can put here it's just a sort of an empty room over here that obviously there's another door that leads out that side there but let's start at the bottom here and uh, we came up on that side over there um, I don't think I came up did I come up here before um, oh wow Crack oh, out! So this is the this is where the the, the jump drive is. Oh wow! I didn't even. Oh, I 
twice I didn't even make it up here okay but anyway all right let me just quickly go down and show you okay that goes there that goes there um, this door leads to that I think it's that small yes it's that small sort of hangar bay over here mm -hmm. and just to give you get you guys orientated there is the solar panels mm -hmm. so this is the small one on this side yeah, and if you run out to the edge here mm -hmm. you'll see the glass tunnel coming in that side over there uh, it's two blocks high so it's very much for sort of smaller ships it's also airtight obviously you can see the vent there this door leads out to that walkway that's on top of the glass uh, tunnel. We come back through the side over here, and yeah, we can. That one goes down, that one goes across there. Where does this one go now? Where does this one go? Oh my word, okay. So, alright, so let's go across here. Did I ever go up here? Um, oh yes, yeah, so this is the window, this is where those windows are there, probably another sort of waiting room or sort of mm. command centre. Okay, let's just go around this way here. So this is now going towards the this, this massive sort of uh, reactor, there is a refinery in there as well and there's an assembler in there mm. and again there are the solar panels so you get sort of an orientation of where we are on the station. Coming through here, this is really cool. So the I think I'm, I'm sort of very sure. You know what? Actually, let's quickly. I don't mean it's a speed module. Let's just cut this down here and see what this is. Ah, you see, it's another. You can just see it through there. It is another uh, refinery. So there's like maybe two two refineries. I think there's one down over there. Uh, it's over there. Let me just quickly go down the side here. I think there's another one underneath here. Um, there's a container there. And if we go further down over here, we'll see that... Okay, another container there. Then there are two reactors down this side over here. Coming around this way around here. We'll be able to see. So here's one of the, uh, the the assemblers here, and I wonder if you can, yes. And see this over here. This is a a, a refiner. Um, as you can read there, just very very lightly. This is one of the refineries, and there I think there are two or three large containers underneath there. And if you can see through there, there's some batteries over there. So everything is really nicely contained here, it looks cool, you know, it's like really sort of the reactor room and sort of the industrial side of the station. And if we come out here, where are we out here now? Okay, let's just have a look where those, are there the panels there? Oh, this is just runs underneath again where the, I think it is, where the, the jump, no? Oh my goodness, okay, am I? <laughs> am I lost again? Oh, this is the room, of, okay, this is where, so the jump drive thing is up over here, it goes through there, the jump drive, and it's sort of running in the same direction uh, to the reactor room here, that's that bridge that goes along there. Now, this is a walkway that goes sort of to the next section here. I think, let's go back up this way here, because, um, We'll just finish off the one side of the... Okay, so now hopefully I don't get lost here. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's just like, yeah, just sorry. Just a couple more rooms over here. Nothing too fancy. Another medical bay over here. Um, some uh, sort of control consoles here. You see there's a, there's a little platform and on top there are the, the solar panels. Up through here and you can see that's the next building that we want to go to. But I want to go down, I want to go up that corridor there. It actually looks pretty cool. Hi, oh, it's done, excuse me guys. Uh, right, so let me just quickly go down here. Oh, I got lost a couple of times there. 
So here we go, we go through this corridor over here, up into this sort of building over here. Again, sort of a waiting room. I think what I will do is cut a lot of these chairs down here, and sort of uh, another medical bay. They cut some of the medical bays, and we don't need some of that. And we've got all those interior decorating things that we can use. So this is going now up to that other small platform that's got the 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 yellow and black sort of trimming around it this is underneath so it's sort of like a control center so the ships land on the roof control center here as well another medical bay yeah so in all the different areas of the station you've got medical bays where you can spawn in but i think i'm gonna take a lot of them away so i'm gonna have maybe one or two here so we've just come from oops that's uh, a window in there Okay, so we've just come down from here. So we've just, uh, let me just quickly show you guys. Let me fly uh, quickly over here. So that was that, that control room underneath here. Pretty cool. And it's got this nice sort of landing pad. And I love the, the blue lights that he's used here. Uh, whoever this uh, author is, you know, he must have spent a hell of a lot of time building this thing. And it absolutely looks absolutely amazing. Eh? Okay, so we've done sort of this side of the the station let me just sh sh let me just go around here let me just show you guys let me just quickly swing around here that's what that looks like over there so we've come we've gone through there through the side here the reactor room and through sort of like a waiting area there and we gone we went up that stairs there to that landing pad there we have been through there there's that jump drive that you walk, walk underneath in over here um Okay, there's that landing, there's that landing pad and the doors that we came through over there. And this was the top the top piece over here. The reason why the ship is parked over here is because I had to move a bit forward so the nanites could get to everything. And when we come out here, let me just quickly jump down here and run up here. So this is another sort of hangar door here. I might just move this around there so I can fit the ship in here. Uh, let's run up here quickly. I oh know it's absolutely another medical bay. <laughs> it's absolutely a, a mess of this thing just for me, the solo survivor player. My word, it's absolutely. But I, it, 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 I love the station. It absolutely looks, looks absolutely cool. Okay, so I'm going to actually take these down here and just put that modded railing thing there. We're going to go into that building there now at the moment. So let's go back down the stairs here oops it's not no it's not on um, okay we're gonna go down there and we're gonna go up into that building there I think it is this way over here you go like this come up here and shoot down this corridor here and look at this how he's done the the glass sort of corridor here absolutely amazing it looks so cool Alright, so over here, and this section over here, again, there is a lot of chairs here, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make this, see, because the, conne the conver connectors, uh, converters and connectors come up this side here, and there's a connector at the top, I'll show you that now. Another medical bay, I'm I think actually, actually gonna clear everything out here, and make this sort of my industrial side of things. So, we can have all the refineries down over here, uh, a, big, a large container in the corner there, like I normally do it, like, you know, with the red container being the ore and stuff like that. Take all these seats out because we don't really, really, really need it. We came up through that door over there, but I'm just going to quickly show you. He's put some uh, some corridors, some, you know, some balconies out here. And everything's got double doors, so it's all airtight and stuff like that. I'm going to change this as well over here. Just throw down some modded railings and come up up over here uh okay this is oh yes this is like the landing the landing pad these are see the gray here and everything over here this is all heavy blocks so if you're coming down with your thrusters you don't really damage it that quickly there's that connector that goes down into that room there let me just quickly fly over the side here and show you guys so so that's that connector that comes in over here and I will be doing, I definitely, definitely think I will be doing sort of a refining station there. But let's get back into the into the building. The blue lights, love the blue lights. And 
So, I mean, these are the things that, that people have built. I mean, I, I, I absolutely take my hat off to them. Well done to these people who have actually built, the, <laughs> built these things. <laughs> my word, I, I mean, I don't know how long I could possibly do it, but oh my word, it's going to take me forever. Okay, so let's go back down here. Uh, we came up here, so this is sort of another, sort of another balcony area over here. Um, let's quickly run up here. It's also like a sort of semi-command center here. There's another one down there where there are some control things there. Uh, this side as well, so you've got like a really a 360 yeah, a decreed view of everything. We see all the ships coming in. Another medical bay, and uh, definitely a lot of medical bays in this thing. I think there's going to be a lot of wars. I mean, people dying constantly. I think I don't know. Another sort of veranda thing over here. There's the ship. There's sort of the main. I would say the sort of main control flight center over there. Okay, let me quickly run down here. Let's hopefully I don't get lost. Okay, that's there. It's through there, through there, down over here, and let's just get, get our orientation right. Okay, there, the solar panels, there's our beginner sort of pad there. Okay, it comes through over here. There's, there's, here's that bubble, I really like this as well. That's that bubble, so really right in the middle, there's the, the, the solar panels, the bubble right in the middle of the thing, so you can get a really a good 360, well, not completely 360, but a quite a nice view. There's our planet Earth, and there's, there's Mars poking on the other side, up, up on the other side there. All sort of airtight. I'm just going to close all the doors and get some ice and stuff like that but anyway here we go through here and we come through the corridor over here also very cool just extending the base uh, corridor here single door here I might have to make do a bit of a fix over here put a double door in there just bring this thing a bit more forward and yeah that looks and I think I might be taking some of these screens down as well so we go up here and now uh, this I definitely know this is the sort of the cryopod area. Really, there's like one, two, three, four sort of areas. See the lighting is used. I mean, it looks really cool. The blue lights with the white it looks really, really, really nice. Eh? Okay, cool. So that's that. There's four of those arrows saying going up. Okay, we'll go up. Uh, switch on my jetpack. Shoot up here. And now this is the that that control. See, there's the ship over there, my ship. <laughs> there are the solar panels, and this is like sort of a three, definitely a 360 view sort of control tower. So you no, know, they can see all the ships coming in there and there. And if my ship wasn't in the way there, I think you still see the platform sort of right behind it over there. So this is going to be my main thing. I'm going to use those consoles, those really cool consoles, the mod. I really just give this place a bit of a, uh, I mean it looks amazing, I mean it really amazing, and totally, totally, totally vanilla. I mean there's nothing not vanilla about this. Eh? So that's pretty much the whole station. I know I've sort of really run through it sort of very, very, very quickly, but we've got like half an hour, I want to keep these videos to half an hour, but anyway, so that's the thing there, there, we were just up there in, in that control sort of flight center there, there, the cryopods there, there's guns everywhere, it's all interlinked, I mean, there's all the, you know, the, the, uh, uh, con connectors, not connectors, the conveyors go everywhere around here, you see over here, we can even see how it comes out here, we can even put a gun <coughs> move this thing a little bit further out here, put another gun underneath here. Uh, okay, there's a beacon, I didn't notice that before. Let's just go through here, a lot of guns defending it over here. And yo, what an amazing, amazing station. So many rooms, so many sort of nooks and crannies and really, really, really cool. I can really do a lot with this. I mean, I know it's totally, totally overkill. <laughs> for just one person, <laughs> well, you never know. Friends might join, and yeah, we'll have a cool time. I'm, I'm enjoying the solo survival. 
but so yeah very very cool I like the blue as well and really you know it really works with the station like I said I'm gonna sort of uh, use some mods on this thing I love my mods you know and as you guys know so I'm gonna sort of just fix this up a little bit just make it a little bit more the way sort of I want it although it looks very 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 cool on its own uh, I'm just gonna mod it a little bit change it around a tiny fraction and just make it look cool the way sort of I kind of want it eh? um, let me let me quickly move the ship completely out of the way here and hopefully I've got enough hopefully I've still got enough ice to get it <coughs> so I'm just quickly Zambodi the camera behind there let's go number 8 switch on the engines oh we've got 27 that's fine that's fine oh easy 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 okay let me quickly let me just go forward and have I left the the force field doors behind again. Oh, before I turn here, let me just make sure I'm clear. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Those bloody doors. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know about those doors. I'm gonna have to change them. I'm so hoping they they fix it, but looks like it's not gonna happen. Okay, let me quickly jump out here. And let me oops fly into everything over here. Got enough oxygen, got enough hydrogen, doing all good. <laughs> Bloody doors. Okay, so that's got a yeah, so here's that that massive landing pad here. Absolutely what an amazing station. I love it. It actually Congrats to the guy who built it. You know, thanks for the, thanks for taking the time to build something so cool. You know, and sharing it with us, and so we can all enjoy it. There we go. I must actually find the builder's name for this. Uh, see if I can find it and just give him a proper, you know, thanks. You know, and put his name up in lights if I could. Probably could. <laughs> so there we go. So from the humble start of our sort of our single platform, a small little platform there. This is, and again, four and a half hours with the, with the nanites is pretty damn sweet. Eh? For, for a nice station. I know it's a blueprint and I know it's from from the Steam Workshop, but oh my word, guys, if I had to start building something like that, and I possibly could, it would take me days and days and days and days to do something like this eh? but here we go we have the technology we have the the means to actually build something amazing and do it quickly and I can show it to you guys and you guys can go into the the steam workshop and get it yourselves and you know build it with your friends and, and with your friends and for your friends and yep so ladies and gentlemen I don't know what we're going to call this station, but uh, I'm def I might even find the builder's name, like I said before, and actually just name it after him. Uh, we'll call the build. We'll, I'm definitely probably going to do that. Uh. Cool guys. So um, I didn't put the timer on. <laughs> so I don't know how long this video actually is if it's a short one or a long one all right guys i hope you enjoyed it i am going to work on this and get everything in in polished to sort of the way i would like it try keep it completely the looking the, the same the same colors and everything else but everything else you know just small improvements here and there but anyway guys Again, thanks for watching, and I'll I'll carry on building, and I'll, and I'll let you know what's going to happen, sort of uh, what we're gonna what we're planning on doing, and uh, once I've sort of got myself sorted over here, I'll show you the subtle changes. Not going to be very much. I still want to build that massive, massive uh, mining ship, which will be so easy with a 
um, with with uh, the the nanite factory. I mean, I just put it down here. It'll build it in like half an hour. Everything will be done, ready to rock and roll. So anyway, good. Let me just quickly switch off the hydrogens and try save some save some uh, hydrogen here. <laughs> Which have I got left here? Whoops. Let me quickly switch it off. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching again. Like and subscribe. I'm going to carry on with this series. Uh, Daniel, my friend, and myself, I think we are going to start a new characters in the Elder Scrolls Online. And uh, I'm going to possibly buy the Morrowind expansion and have a look what that's all about. That'll be sort of in the future. So it'll just be the adventures of me and Daniel running around and uh, yeah, just having fun and hopefully entertaining you guys as well so but anyway again sorry guys cool right uh see you guys on the next episode thanks guys cheers bye <laughs>